Hello everyone, welcome back to Sonic World, and this time episode 7 we'll be looking at Wild Canyon. Now uh, this one, this stage is from originally from Sonic Adventure 2, for those who don't know the Sonic games that well, or haven't played the Adventure series, uh, many haven't. So uh, this time we'll be uh, using the character Shade the Echidna, uh, Mephilus the Dark, and uh, Takar the Echidna. Alright, get any Echidnas in here. Would use Knuckles as well, but you know, I already used them before. I mean, yes, I know I've used characters more than once, but like, you know, there's like 21 stages and a team of three, and there's only like 35 characters and maybe seven, so. Try, you know, wrapping yourself around that one. But I, um, for R, because R8 is coming eventually. Like, there's new characters and stuff for R8 now. Um, you may have seen them. And, uh, you know, but there is actually, there's actually six more characters we've got confirmed right now. And they're, they're actually from the Ozan's, um, mod pack. Like, there was a, he made six Ori's, well, not six Ori's, but more say six mod characters that used the Ori system. And they were uh, the President, the Commander, um, Metal Sonic 3.0, um, E101 Beta, uh, I don't even know what else there was. Oh yeah, Eggman Mech, that's another one. Pretty sure that's another one, but I'm probably not going to remember what it was now. Uh, or maybe I'll remember sometime. But um, anyway, but that, that's not important. So this stage is the second treasure hunting stage in the list, uh, and it's pretty standard, you know, there's not too much going on here, it's not too big of a stage. It's, it's like Tokyo Street, it's kind of smaller, because we like to keep the, like, the stages on, like, you know, them smallish, because also S rank, that's a good start to the, you know, play for there. But, uh, the, you know, that's the thing, is that we don't like to keep the, you know, the treasure hunting stages huge, because, like, it, it makes sense. Like, in, in Sonic Adventure 2, the, the treasure hunting stages were sometimes absolutely massive. And then, like, you have to be searching for ages just to try and find anything. We're like, well, this is completely useless. But, you know, in here we like to keep them small enough. And yes, there are some, like, secrets in, like, hidden areas and that like that. As you'd expect. Like, some of them, considering there's five missions for each of them. And you can be, like, you know, making sure that they are each, you know, of them interesting and fun. Like, you know, the last mission on the list uh, is uh, Confetti Parade, I think it's called. I can't remember the, name, the actual name of it. Um, but that one basically has only five balloons in the whole level, and they're hidden, like, in, um, like a little secret area. So, uh, you basically have to know where they are, and then get to them. So, but, yeah, I mean, this, this actually, this mission's, uh, these missions are actually pretty easy to get S-Ranks in, except, like, the first one is pretty easy to get an S-Rank in. The last one's pretty easy to get an S-Rank in. I think the fourth one is two. I can't quite remember the, the mission layout, because I know there's a ring collector one. There's an, uh, the normal standard collect three red rings. Uh, the enemies... Uh, kill all the enemies and the confetti one, but I can't remember what one of the other ones is. It may have been the gold, uh, you know, golden pursuit, kill the golden enemies. But uh, I guess we'll find out together as we watch the recording. I've actually noticed some, like, uh, performance issues. I don't know if it may be, like, my computer or just Sonic World in general. I mean, I know there's a problem with my computer and Sonic World, right? For some reason, it does not seem to like Sonic World. Like, uh, like all the other games I get to record, like, 60 FPS, uh, you know, and in, like, full resolution. But for some reason, Sonic World will not accept me recording above like 1366 by 768 resolution. You know, don't know why that is, and that probably books when the slightly lower quality in comparison to videos. But uh, for whatever reason, that is the case. But you know, it, it doesn't really affect the gameplay that much. It just you know, it's only slightly ineffective. You know, and uh, I guess the only real problem is when it comes in is when you know, need to react quickly and do stuff fast, and you don't get that extra few frames to try and you know. Uh, well, get it correctly. Like, what's cave? Hmm. Once we get that again. Uh, yeah, so in this stage, um, there there is actually quite a few uh, secrets, like hidden areas. As I said, for the confetti one, there's like a secret little hidden area. And if you saw back there, there was a teleporter, and that will take you to this hidden area. Uh, we don't need to go into the teleporter this time because of the fact that uh, there's no enemies in the teleport section. However, I thought to myself, oh, why not try? And then I remembered straight away. Wait, no, there's nothing here. And then I thought, then I tried to get back, and then I realized taking another teleporter back is a terrible idea. So basically, I waste a ton of time here trying to find like a way out of this area. But you can see where all the balloons are in this little secret area, and we'll get back to those later. But like when I actually came to the confetti mission, I just you know sort of uh, messed up a bit when it came to the balloons. But you know, whatever. You're not gonna get everything perfect. The funny thing is, actually, this this little hidden area here is actually one of the most unique things in um in in this like you know 
these stages, because like most stages don't tend to have like little secret areas. Also, there is the exit teleporter. Because I mean, I, I assume that like the treasure hunting missions are actually the ones with the most like you know secret and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, because you know, I guess in comparison to like the main stages where like it's all linear and straight. These kind of stages can have little secret areas like that because, you know, there's no, like, there's no path you have to go. Like, you just gotta go anywhere, so you can have, like, little secrets and stuff like that. Also, I swear, half the enemies do my job for me. They just jumped off the edge and killed themselves. Poor them. Um, uh, Mephilus here, uh, you know, he's a pretty standard character, actually. He has little enemies he can throw at the, uh, well, enemies. Little minions he throws. Uh, interesting story behind the minions. Um, when they were actually made, I mean, and we know that uh, the minions in Sonic 06 actually look completely different. But the reason they're, uh, you know, not like that in R7 and all other versions he was in is because of the fact when Nibrock actually made the model for them, he didn't actually know what Mephilus's minions look like. So he took a calculated guess. And that was the result. Yeah, fine enough by me if you ask, you know, me. Also, one thing I have a thing to know, uh, the giant fan in the middle, I think it's unique to this stage. I mean, I know you can use it like in debug mode, you can add your own, but um, it is indeed uh, only uh, on this stage specifically, I think out of all the stages in the game so far. And also I realize when I'm watching this recording, I can actually see the missing enemies and I'm just not getting them. Here we go, pass out, well done, you found the enemies. So by the end of this stage, uh, the second mission, <laughs> Takao just comes out of the broken wreck holding her hands together like, I did that, I'm a peace giver. F rank, brilliant. Second, you know, I got S rank for the first one, F rank for the next one. Excellent work. So 48 emblems, almost there. Oh, okay, so the fourth mission was time attack with red rings. So this has a speed up here because the ring collecting one in this mission is actually pretty hard. There's not too many more rings than 200 in this stage. So getting 200 rings is actually really difficult. Like, you cannot get hit. Like, getting hit in this mission basically means you have to restart. There, I don't think there is even 200 rings. Uh, like, well, not more than 200 rings around this area. Um, probably about that, I'd say. You know, I'd say maybe like 200, like 30 at the most. But like, you have to really scour the area to try and find rings in this, uh, this stage. Luckily, it's possible, because something tells me when we made this stage, we didn't exactly test to see if there was over 200 rings. It would be quite funny if we ended up, uh, you know, uh, proposing this stage, and then it turned out there wasn't even 200 rings in the stage. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is not my first time doing this. Like, this mission actually took me quite a while. Like, because there's so many, like, boxes that have bloody spikes in them. You've got to be really bloody careful. I mean, it's really annoying, but, like, there's sort of tricks, like, here where you can, like, remove the bombs above him to, like, try and get the stuff. Um, but you're really careful. Like, enemies and stuff like that, your worst kind of enemy in this mission, because anything that touched you basically means you got to restart, because it's like a one-hit kill sort of thing. Because one a single hit means, basically, there's not enough rings in the level. Like, after maybe, like, if you get 10 rings and then, like, lose them, like, whatever. But, like, you you get, like, maybe, like, 50 or something rings and then you lose them, it's game over. you got to restart. You ain't got a choice. There's, uh, yeah, but there's rings hidden all over the place. And I believe, yeah, here, uh, there's a few more rings. And it's, like, in this, like, hidden section, you're probably going to find a load of rings. Um, probably, like, where most of the rings are. And, uh, but, but I'd say, yeah, it's a set base of, like, 230, 200, maybe 250 at the very max. Rings. So, 49 emblems. Woohoo. Okay. We are almost to locking the next character, and we will get that after this next mission. Uh, I believe I get an S rank because it's a time attack mission, so. I don't think I've got a time attack mission where I haven't gotten an S rank yet because getting an S rank in a time attack mission is just so beyond easy. Like, really. It's really easy. You think it'd be harder, but no. It's really not. It's because the time attack is always so lenient in, in, in the Sonic world. You never actually fail, like, ever to get an S rank. I've got to be careful here. I thought I was going to die. Like, I walked right into it when I had the invincibility on. But luckily for me, I didn't, you know, didn't die. And the thing is, I actually did this pretty darn quickly as well. Like, even, even so, like, I know you can actually, like, not get an S rank in these missions. But, like, I did this pretty quickly in uh, comparison to what I normally do. Like, normally I, you know, uh, also, did I just get hit and lose at the exact same time? Yes, I did. 
Yeah, I did that in 45 seconds. That's pretty impressive, you ask me. But yes, I get my S rank, and now we unlock Gamma. See? You unlock Gamma. Congratulations. And I'll probably use him in the next mission, but then again, the next level is Crisis City, which will be next week. This mission will be really short, as you can imagine. It's a, it's a very, uh... It's a very short mission since the balloons are just around the corner. But yeah, uh, Crisis City will be the next mission, uh, well, the next level. And after that, I don't know. I can't remember what's after that. But anyway, yeah, so Crisis City will be next. And, uh, you know, and after this mission, I believe I got uh, below an S rank. So that leaves me 52 emblems. So uh, I believe getting uh, super forms is 60 emblems. So we're almost to completing the emblem goal of unlocking everything in the game. Because I believe Gamma is the last character you have to unlock. Also, I missed one balloon. How tragic. So I gotta go back into this place. This time I screwed up. I went backwards into the place. There it is. B rank, woohoo. Probably because I was so sort of slow. Anyway, that finishes off for this week with 50 em 52 emblems. Woohoo! So yeah, Crisis City comes next. See you all later.